have the color display upgrade for KBO and Himaway and other high dong based e-bikes. So this will enable you to have a color display. If you have one of these displays here, a regular LCD, this is on a KBO Breeze. You can upgrade to color display here and this gives you a lot more functions. We'll go through a couple of them here right now. To get into the settings menu, you press the plus and minus button and it will give you different settings you can choose. You can choose the wheel size, speed limit, brightness, voltage, and it has advanced settings. So for this one, the wheel size will set at 27 and a half for the KBO. Go to the speed limit. It's already set to 56 miles per hour, which it's the top it's speed limit. So that means the bike is unrestricted right now. Uh, you have the brightness, you can set the voltage. This one is set to, you can do 36 or 48. Then we'll go into the advanced settings here. Okay, the speed sensor is uh, the uh, basically the accuracy of the speedometer. Uh, assist number is the number of magnets in the pedal assist. This is the important setting here, the power set. This is the set levels you can have, the pen pedal assist sensitivity you can have. You can go from 0, 3, 1 to 3, 0, 5, 1, 5. 0717 or 09 to 19. So we're going to leave it at uh, 0 to 9. And then in each level, you can set the rate, the different ratios here. So you'll see level 1's at 25, 2 at 34, and so on. Uh, to get the map, we're going to just leave it here for our testing today. And we're just going to go through each one. We're going to do put 9. Sorry. We're going to put nine up to a hundred percent. There we go. And then we're going to go. The current limit is the, the current of the controller. So this one's maxed out at 25. I think the controller is only 22 amp on the KBO anyway. But this one here is the uh, percent display of the battery capacity when you look at it. So you can do percent or voltage. So we're going to set it to voltage. And we're going to go back. And then we're going to exit out of the menu here. And then, so important up to see at the top, it's 52.2 volts. So this is important when you're riding. It, some people like to see voltage as opposed to percent because the battery, the bike will cut off at about 41 volts. So it gives you a good idea when the battery is going to cut off. And then you can cycle through the settings down here by pressing the I button. You got your odometer, max speed, average speed, time you've been riding, and the trip meter which you can reset, so that's nice at the bottom. And then this one, it's still the, 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 the remote is a four button remote, the power button's up at the top, but you press the plus button and the headlight will come on. You see the display dim, now the picture's going a little wonky, but headlight's on. And you also see that this display will still work the brakes correctly, the brake light will flash when you hit the brake lever. And so that's it, that's the key display. It's a KD718, and you can use it on um, KBOs, Himalays, and other high dong based e-bikes. Hey everybody, it's Max. So we've attached a little bit of footage at the end here just to show you the difference between the displays and live performance. So there's two clips. And you'll be able to see the difference in both displays functionality live on the bike. You'll notice it's speed upgrade if you're using this on any KBO or Hemiway bike. You'll also notice that you have a lot more control over those levels of pedal assist. So if your pass is too fast for you in the beginning or too slow, this display lets you modify everything. If you end up deciding to upgrade but still need more speed, or power, you might want to look into upgrading your battery, controller, or even motor. And if those are any things that you need done and you happen to be in DC, Maryland, or Virginia, feel free to hit up eCycleMD. And as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks and see you next time.
started.